Hey Sarah, so since your last video was about your first Neil Gaiman book, which actually sounds really, really good, but anyway, I decided to talk about my first Neil Gaiman, which I read pretty recently, um, which was Stardust, which was very interesting and good, but I think it's one of those rare cases where the movie was actually better than the book, at least in my opinion. So I had seen the movie first, which sometimes makes a difference on these things. Um, and I don't remember why I watched it originally, actually. It's a little bit quirky. I'd compare it maybe to, like, The Princess Bride, but a little bit more adult. I mean, not enough that you would, wouldn't let somebody watch it, but there were definitely more, like, innuendo -y jokes in there. And perhaps even a bit quirkier, maybe that would appeal to, like, the Tenth Kingdom loving side of me. Um, but I, I ended up watching it one day, and I really, really liked it. And I didn't read the book for a long time, and I'd probably seen the movie a, a fair number of times, maybe like a half dozen, um, before I read the book. So that could make an influence on it. So the story is about this boy named Tristan who lives in this village called Wall, and he works in a shop. Um, the village is called Wall because there's this giant wall that runs through it that nobody's allowed to cross. Um, he thinks he's in love with this girl from the village, so he makes her a deal that if he can go and catch the falling star that they see fall on the other side of the wall and bring it back to her that she would marry him. She's like, okay, whatever, go ahead. And he sets off on this journey to the other side of the wall and he finds out that on the other side of the wall, the whole thing is this like fairyland where there's all these crazy, you know, creatures and things going on. And while he's over there, he finds out that his life is very connected in with the other side of the wall. And he never knew that. So that's kind of the plot of it and how he goes through. And he has this, like, self-discovery journey of, like, boyhood to manhood. And when he finds the star, he finds out that it's not just, like, a clump of rock. It's actually a woman. And so he has to take her on this journey with him because he thinks he's going to bring her back to the this woman, or this girl on the other side of the wall as a gift. And she's like, um, no. And they embark on this journey together. The book follows a very fairy tale stylistic format, um, which I think one thing that that brings with it is that it's a little bit vague in some aspects. You just see that throughout of like these characters just show up as these archetypes, which makes sense in a fairy tale because that's how fairy tales are. Um, but this is a novel, so I think I expect a little more from it. Maybe that's not very fair of me. Either way, in the movie adaptation, I feel like the characters are all more well-rounded and you get to know each of them a little better, um, which, you know, I, I kind of liked better. And especially coming from the movie first, I was expecting to read the literature and learn more about them, whereas it turned out they were more, um, you know, not stereotypes, but like archetypes. And the story had less detail in it than I would have expected. And then the other side of that is like the romance story, which has, you know, quirks and development in the movie um, is left pretty basic and um, sudden in the fairy tale novel, you know, adaptation, which again is something that you would think would be sort of backwards. And it's kind of a bigger deal. There's a plot of like, a king who's dying and his successor, which is very, very detailed in the movie and happens entirely off screen uh, in the book, off page. The other thing that perhaps I'm sort of like doing wrong is I believe this was originally written as a graphic novel or maybe an illustrated novel. I don't know if I understand the difference between those two. Um, and it's not that it was bad. It was just different than what I was expecting. And... A little less than what I was expecting because I had come in with the movie version. Um, all in all, I recommend both the book and the movie. The writing was beautiful and fitting into that fairy tale format. You know, he, I mean, everything was done correctly. Um, so I would definitely be open to reading more Neil Gaiman. And I do think the book that you read sounds super interesting. And in a way, sort of the opposite. It sounds like it's got a lot of interesting... Um, Characters all brought together in a very unusual situation.